Today, I'm flying Iberia Business Class on their Airbus A330, and, well, it was awful. In addition to perhaps the dirtiest cabin I've ever flown in, I was served inedible food, experienced questionable in-flight safety, and to top it off, a menagerie of unexpected items were waiting for me at my seat, left by previous passengers. The price you ask for this symphony of sh** nearly $5,000. Oh, and before we begin, I just want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. You'll want to make sure your seatbelt is tightly fastened for today's turbulent and brutally honest review. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. You join me in a very cold Chicago airport where we're going to be trying out Iberia. So let's get out of the cold because I'm absolutely frozen and go and check in for a flight. So good news, I have found the Iberia check-in and what's useful as well, I've been able to check in on the app on my phone because I've only got carry-on baggage today, there's no need to have to go and check in physically, which is great. And I've also learned that there's a priority security, which is uh, like gold dust in the US. A few moments later, Oh, right, so I knew it was K Concourse, but K19, which appears to be quite the track. I'll tell you what, it's a lot nicer in this part of the Chicago airport. If you have watched my previous Air France video where I flew from another part of the terminal, I'm not sure exactly which terminal it was, but it was god awful. And in here, it actually seems all right, which is, uh, which is a relief. And I think I've got a nice lounge to go and enjoy. Now, because Iberia are part of the One World Alliance, by default, I get access to the American Admirals Club. Well, this is very nice. I'm uh, most surprised by this. Let's see what it's like when we go in. Right, so welcome to the uh, Admirals Club. We've got around 10 minutes here, but we're having to make our way over to K19, which I can't actually see from here. I think it's just over the other side. So let's go and see what the American Admirals Lounge is going to offer us today. Well, this I can get behind. Let's see if these cookies are any good. Services in the lounges throughout the US are notoriously poor. However, this lounge actually seems to offer some half decent food, albeit all plasticky. But um, yeah, cheers. Well, credit with credit is due. That, that was brilliant. That was a solid lounge experience. Got a bit of a track on our hands and it's about to board. So, um, but I wanted to show off what the lounge was like. Always important to see on these, uh, these outstation trips. Almost there. It isn't as far as I thought it was, thankfully. Just down the other side of the, the concourse from where I was. Strangely, after all the premium flights I've ever flown, I've never been asked to check my cabin baggage in business class. Right then, just before we get on board, here's a quick word from today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace make it super easy for you to set up and host a website. This isn't the 1990s where you have to know complicated coding. Squarespace really have this down, handling it all from the domain name through to the design, hosting, social media linking, and even your search engine optimization. The best bit is Squarespace are offering you a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just head over to squarespace.com forward slash Trek Trendy and use the coupon code Trek Trendy. Thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring this video. After a frosty welcome, I'm ushered to the far aisle. I'm the last to board in business class today and the cabin is um, pretty empty. Just before starting to take my coat off, I'm tutted at by one of the remarkably unfriendly crew. No welcome, no nothing. Okay, as I was, let's stow my coat up in the overhead. Just to note, most of the bins have ample space still, making the check your bag request even more obscure. Anyway, bag stowed, let's settle into my seat, 6 Lima. Flying Iberia's A330, you'll want an even numbered seat near the window. This provides the most privacy. 
Contrastingly, an odd-numbered seat puts you very exposed, basically sitting in the aisle. I'd suggest avoiding this if possible and grab a true window seat like me. Right guys, so welcome on board tonight's flight on Iberia's A330, greeted by some lovely Spanish music. I have just been presented with an amenity kit and some headphones as well. I'm pleasantly surprised to be served a pre-departure beverage. No booze to speak of, but many airlines have canned this all together, so fair play Iberia. Looking out the window, I can see the plane is beginning its de-icing procedure. My eyes wander back to my seat, and to my dismay, I notice, well, filth. Skin and dust all over the IFV remote, along with a generous helping of crumbs and dirt. To my horror, this is nothing compared to what we're about to see. As we begin to push back for a snowy taxi, I get my seatbelt fastened and the safety video is screened. It bemuses me how well some countries deal with extreme weather, in contrast to my home country of the UK. Those who don't know, the first sign of any snow at London Heathrow, flights are cancelled and runways are closed. It's not long before we're hurtling down the runway and into the Chicago late afternoon sky. Tonight's route will be taking us nearly 7,000 kilometers, over eight hours to the Spanish capital of Madrid. About 10 minutes later, the seatbelt sign is switched off and the cabin crew spring into action, readying dinner service. I take this opportunity to take a closer look around my seat, which on closer inspection is in desperate need of a deep clean. Just to my right, where my head will be within millimetres when I sleep, is the worst build-up of filth I've ever seen on a plane before. To my left is a cup holder, for when I have the bed in the lay-flat position. Let's just say I'm not going to use it. Everywhere you look, it's dirty. We're in for some more surprises soon, and not the good kind either. I'm told dinner service is ready, so I fold down my tray table. I'm relieved to see at least this is clean. Without being offered a menu, the options are fish or beef this evening. Now what's under the mystery foil, I wonder. I'm relieved to find a proper napkin and metal cutlery are provided today. It certainly didn't used to be. So let the guesswork begin. My starter was um, ham, sun-dried tomatoes and a mustard-like sauce. It's well presented and tasted good. The mystery foil dish turned out to be slow cooked beef, creamy potatoes, carrots and fried potatoes I think. It was tasty but I can't say it was particularly premium or at least not up to the business class standard. I like the pretzel bread served as a side with some butter which is a nice touch. Now begins the disappointment, the cheese plate. As you may know Spain has some wonderful cheese and this unfortunately is not it. Anemic, bland and just gross, it's a no from me. Next up, a cream cake. This tasted like some sort of cake you'd get in a dollar shop. Despite the cream and strawberries, it still managed to be dry and lacking of flavour. The worst is yet to come though, just wait until breakfast. <laughs> to close, I'm offered a nightcap of water and a dark chocolate praline, which was fine. Now let's go check out the loo. There are two business class bathrooms, one at the front and the rear of the cabin. Both have quite the surprises to give and not the surprise I wanted. They were utterly filthy. It's ironic to see filth next to the soap, but well, here it is. Grime, dust and dirt everywhere. Yuck. The floor, thankfully, isn't quite as sticky as Delta's was the other day though, but this is not a nice place to be. I think a well-needed hand washing is in order and a quick getaway over to set my bed up. I gingerly kick my Tims off, not wanting to touch the floor at all. I grab some bedding and hit the bed button on my seat controls. Halfway through, I spot some dust kicking up from the back of the seat, and to my horror, on closer inspection, this is the site. Old napkins, years of filth buildup, tissues, and even some kind of lotion from a previous passenger. Trying to ignore this scene, I finish putting my bed out. You get just one thin blanket and a pillow provided. Neither offered much in the way of comfort, if I'm honest. Though I did find some sugar in my seat from a previous guest. Sweet. <laughs> oh goodness, this really is dire. My bed is now complete. I've got to try and push out my mind, the utter filth surrounding me, but it really is off-putting. As always, I elegantly hop into bed and settle in for a few hours kip. It's actually quite comfortable sleeping on your side, and the cubby is not that restricted with your feet, which I like. I have a very broken sleep, as the seatbelt sign is switched on and off throughout the journey. Totally understandable, of course, but it's coupled with a loud announcement in both Spanish and English, making sleep impossible. 
the next day. I awake to a tray being presented to me. This morning's surprise under the foil is, well, one of the most disgusting things I've had on a plane before. Yes, it's an omelette, but not as you know it. It's literally inedible. It's like the saltiest leather flip-flop you can imagine. The fruit on the side though was appreciated and went down well. Okay, let's get that bed folded back up and prepare for landing. Settling back into my seat, it's not long before the seatbelt sign comes on and we start to begin final approach. As we begin this though, I'm puzzled to find the cabin lights still on, albeit not at full brightness, but at the dinner service brightness. On every flight I've been on to date, the cabin lights are dim for departure and arrival in the hours of darkness. It's a safety procedure to allow for your eyes to be adjusted in case of an emergency. So this did concern me, did they just forget? Or is this a change in policy now? Anyway, with that, welcome to Madrid. I'll be glad to get away from this filthy cabin. Oh, nice early morning. That's what we like getting off the plane of a bus gate. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Obviously, it was a bit of an interesting example today of a flight that didn't go quite right. Do let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys all again next week. Thanks once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash track trendy to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.